I'm Keanu Smith, and this is Clutch Sports. Now, we haven't had too many sports. Obviously, we have the NBA, college basketball, NFL is still going on, but there's one game left. This past weekend, there was the Pro Bowl, which all the best of uh, stars in the NFL play in, whether it's flag football, skills challenges, anything like that. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. I did not watch it. It is never entertaining for me, and, well, that's just my personal opinion. But this Sunday, 6 p.m., I will tell you, the Chiefs play the 49ers in the Super Bowl, one of the biggest games of the year, especially for us football fans. Me, personally, I can't wait. Now, the Chiefs and the 49ers met each other a couple of Super Bowls ago, and, well, we know the ending of that. The Chiefs were down, 49ers were up. Jimmy Garoppolo choked, like he always does, and the Chiefs end up coming out with a victory. Well, this time, the Chiefs do not have Tyreek Hill, but Patrick Mahomes still has Travis Kelsey and some other pieces. I don't think that this will be any different. I'm very confident in the Chiefs, but I will say the 49ers have their roster stacked to the max. So if they don't put up a good fight, ooh boy, some so there's rumblings in there, I tell you. But the first team I'm going to talk about is the Chiefs. Obviously, Patrick Mahomes, one of the best quarterbacks of our generation or even all time. This season, he was 401 completions of four, 597 completions on the year, 4,183 passing yards, 27 touchdowns, and 14 interceptions. Now, obviously, these are some average Patrick Mahomes numbers because we've seen him be completely better in the in the recent years. Whether it's 5,000 passing passing touch 5,000 passing yards or even above 40 touchdowns. 14 interceptions is a little high for him, but I'm not too concerned because he didn't really have any receivers this year. Another star for the Chiefs is Travis Kelsey. 93 receptions, 984 yards, and five touchdowns. Even this is pretty average for Travis Kelsey. Obviously, I expect him to play way better in the Super Bowl because, well, Travis Kelsey shows up in the postseason. Now, a star on defense that has made his name known but may need a little bit more work for this Super Bowl to get that contract this year is Chris Jones with 30 tackles, 10 and a half sacks. Now, this is pretty good. This is really good for an NFL player, but I expect Chris Jones to do way more than what he was. I obviously expect Justin Reed, their safety, to do a number two, so let's, let's hope the Chiefs just win this one. Moving on to the 49ers. They played good all year, and that's what scares me the most. I ain't never thought the 49ers would do this, would be the top seed in the NFC, but you know what? They put in the work, and they showed out. Brock Purdy was doing his thing. He ain't a star, but he's sure an emerging star. He's like a big ball of fire, as a Lion King would say it. 4,280 yards on the season with 31 touchdowns and 11 and 11 interceptions obviously I couldn't expect anything better he might he he might be one of the candidates for MVP this year but who knows Christian McCaffrey is another star to look out for 272 rushing attempts 1400 rushing yards 14 touchdowns he was a good pickup from the from the Carolina Panthers I will tell you that and well I expect him to have at least 100 rushing yards on this game, maybe 50 reception yards. So let's see. Fred Warner, a guy on the defense, 132 tackles, four forced fumbles, four interceptions. I guess four, 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 four. Wendy's four for four. He's going he's gonna to do really good in this game. I expect him to. The Chiefs got to gotta watch him, whether he's dropping back to cover a pass or playing the run. You know, Fred Warner is one of those star linebackers, middle linebackers in the National Football League. So he's going to do middle linebacker things. But obviously there's more people to name. Uh, Eric Armstead, Nick Bosa, Chase Young, all of those spectacular guys. I expect all of them to play well, give Patrick Mahomes a run for his money, but not too much because I need Patrick Mahomes to win another Super Bowl. And I know I'm biased. Obviously, I have some biased opinions, but still, I don't want the 49ers to win. I want Patrick Mahomes to be set as the greatest quarterback to ever live. Now, moving on to the NBA. This is bittersweet for me because my Los Angeles Lakers are, well, they're floating around on the toilet because they're crap. 
They're nothing but crap. Crap, 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 crap. 27 to 25. 25 losses on the season. They're barely above 500. And I can't stand it. I was just on Instagram today, and I heard this clip of Stephen A. Smith saying that LeBron has won his last championship. I hope that's not true. I need at least five from LeBron. Obviously, he's not the only player on the team, but still, I need another one. The Lakers beat the Hornets 124 to 118 last night. I wasn't able to watch the game, but I sure did watch the highlights. LeBron threw some monstrous dunks down all on the Hornets. LeBron was 26, 7, and 4. Obviously, average numbers coming from him. He does this every night. What do you expect from him? AD put on a show, 26 points, 11, and 15. Woo! What a start. I thought about trading him early in the season or maybe last year, but he's been on a tear, and he's consistently putting in the work. D'Angelo Russell, 26 Six and four. He's he's taking he's being taken off the trading block because obviously that's what I I expect that from him. Back in Minnesota, back uh, in New York with the Nets, he would shoot bombs, absolute bombs. But hopefully the Lakers do do better as the season progresses. The trade deadline is approaching very fast, probably before this video comes out. And, well, I expect the Lakers to move a couple pieces, maybe do something to, to make the team better, but Mariah Palenque, Jeannie Buss, and Darvin Ham. I, I ain't no telling what might come from them. But that's a wrap for this week's college football news, NFL news, NBA news, whatever you want. To stay up to date, make sure to check out my show every week to stay tuned into your favorite sports teams. I'm Keanu Smith, and this is Clutch Sports.